Welcome to the walkthrough of our new Session Basis Library, Prime Bass. It emulates a 70s-style, single-coil, electric bass guitar built in the USA in 1981. If you've created bass parts with sample libraries before, you know that it can be really hard to replicate the feel and groove of an experienced session musician just by playing single notes on a keyboard. That's why we've recorded a massive loop library with over 8,000 loops and phrases arranged in the 355 pattern presets. Adapt the phrases to your needs by switching them into one pitch mode. This makes it easy to change the melody while keeping the feel and the groove of the original performance. You can also drag and drop phrases into your arrange window and edit the pitches manually. Of course, you can also combine multiple patterns to create custom bass parts. To do that, use the pattern key switches at the bottom of the keyboard. Prime Bass covers more playing styles than all of our previous guitar and bass libraries and contains almost 20,000 single note samples. This lets you play your own melodies with fingers or a plectrum, open and muted notes, harmonics, slaps, dead notes, slides, and more. The mapping panel gives you a quick overview of the melody features and the keyboard layout, which is very similar to our session guitarist libraries, so you'll find your way around quickly. We've enhanced the slide engine to create realistic slides over a wide range of intervals. We've also added a complete slapping sample set with slaps, pops, dead notes, and loops. Press the key switch once to activate the slap articulation. The percussive sound of touching the string and pulling it up is played whenever you press the key switch. Holding the key switch down will activate the pop articulation. The B flat key triggers dead notes. Keep it held to play chromatic dead notes with your right hand. Hammer-ons and pull-offs are triggered when playing the second of two overlapping notes with a lower velocity than the previous note. This lets you play simple slap patterns easily. For more complex stuff, you can still use the included patterns. Many classic bass recordings were recorded straight into a DI input. That's why a solid and versatile direct signal is a good starting point. Turn up the drive control to add real transformer saturation and tube distortion at the input stage. We've also mounted two different microphones above the strings to capture the acoustic sound. You can add them in to help your bass parts to cut through the mix. These source signals give you so much variety and character that you can go from this to this without adding additional effects. Customize your sound even further with two new high-end bass amps, new virtual speaker cabinets, the Supercharger GT compressor, a new limiter, stomp boxes, and emulations of high-end studio effects. For heavier lifting, we've included 10 different filters, a lo-fi effect, 
and a switch to tune the entire sample set down by an octave. The playback page is all about matching the groove of prime bass to the other instruments of your arrangement. Turn up the humanized control to hear the original timing of the recorded patterns. Dial in a swing feel using the swing parameter. We've also added a control to fine tune the accentuation. Turn it to the left to play accents on the down beats or to the right to emphasize the off beats. If you want your basses to play slightly before or behind the beat, you can also adjust the timing shift. There you have it. This is how you can use Prime Bass to create super realistic sounding bass parts for your next production. For more information and to hear audio demos in a range of different styles, head to nativeinstruments.com where you can try out Prime Bass for yourself.